Welcome to the third episode of this devlog series. In this video, we'll be focusing on remaking the character model of the main character and by that giving the game a whole new art style. Before we dive into that, let me quickly explain what this game is even about. It's called Project E for now. Yes, I still don't have a name and I don't like 1v from the first devlog anymore because it sounds bad. It's like naming Dragon Ball Z something like Fighter Z or Fighters. That sounds pretty silly, right? And nobody would ever do something like that. Project E is an open world where you team up with your monster friends to battle other duelists while exploring the vast world, completing quests and more. Speaking of gameplay, just because some people asked why I have started with environment art instead of gameplay, the truth is I didn't. I just did environment videos first because the gameplay video is not done yet. Although the logic is mostly done, it just looked poop without the new character model and animations. So stay tuned for that. To start, I copied some elements from the old character model, specifically the head and the hair. Then I began concepting what I imagined Imko to look like in adult form. Luckily, I already had this as a reference from the very early concepts I made like months ago. And with my awesome character design skills, I came up with this design. Some changes which may or may not be noticeable include the height, the head size and the hair proportions, also some clothing changes. And then I jumped straight into Blender and once I completed the base, which I don't have the footage of anymore because my hard drive died, I started resizing, adjusting and remeshing everything that needed it. After I was happy with the proportions, it's time to add some clothing accessories. I made multiple concepts for the base clothing, but ended up choosing this hoodie, simple pants, regular sneakers, and a modified bag from the original one. Also, I changed the device on his arm from this bulky version to this slimmer version, so it also resembles more a smartphone, and I just think it looks better. Texturing was pretty simple, since I only used plain colors without any hand painted shadows or highlights. I simply paint bucketed the plain color in and for the cell shading I just reused the old material from the chibi model. Just change the textures and voila! We've gone from the chibi version to the adult version and I think it's definitely a big improvement, especially considering the abomination we started with. By the way, I will not throw away the chibi model. I will probably use it for some other things in the game. Next up is animation. I watched countless videos and even started reading the animator survival kit book and I sort of understand the concept in my head but I struggle to translate them into Blender if that makes sense. Sometimes I was satisfied with the key poses and it would look fine but the interpolation would be like uh-uh and wiggle the knee in a weird way and mess stuff up for no reason. But enough complaining. I generated a rig, adjusted the weight painting, tested it and once I was happy with that I dove right into animating and here's a list of animations I need. But for this video, we'll just focus on these four, idle, walk, jog and sprint. And for the rest, we'll just create some placeholder animations or poses, so I don't t-pose anytime I interact with something or want to test crouching or whatever. The walk animation started off well and I was very hopeful, but I had trouble figuring out the right speed and making the feet's impact with the ground look realistic. I really tried my best, went through many iterations and ended up with this walk animation. It's not exactly what I imagined, but I'm not too bothered since I can redo it in the future. And besides that, the walk animation isn't crucial for gameplay. It's simply there when you slightly tilt the joystick, so it's not the actual walk animation that you constantly see. That's the jog animation in my case. So let's talk about the sprint animation next and skip the jog animation for now. I actually really enjoy animating more fast movements or short sequences because they allow for some cheating and errors aren't as noticeable. The sprint animation is also quite simple, consisting of a few key poses and I think it looks pretty cool in motion. Now to create the jog animation, I just took those keys from the sprint and made some adjustments like slowing it a bit down and tweaking the forward weight a bit to the center and that's it. I also quickly created some placeholders for other animations I need. After that, we need to import the animations to Unreal, just drag them into the folder you want, add them to your animation blueprint by connecting them like this. Then create the logic in the animation blueprint by clicking on these arrows and define 
when to trigger the animation. Of course, before that, I have set up the inputs to find the necessary variables for each animation, such as booleans or and velocity to determine when the animation should play. In this case, I also created a blend space for the idle, walk, jog, sprint animation. So the correct animation is triggered and smoothly blended in based on the character's speed. And there you have it, Adult Aimco is alive. Also a huge shout out to Ritpop from our Discord for the awesome drawing of Imco. I really love it and have set it as my phone background since then. So big thanks and much love. That wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching. If the next devlog is already up, please check it out. And if not, be sure to catch up on the previous ones if you haven't already. Bye bye. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitter.